Hey Dio peeps, my name is Pablo Picanto and welcome back to Her Story. So Her Story, finally I get to play more. I'm so thrilled to find out what happened to Simon, what happened in this murder case. Uh, yeah, so I uh, watched my last episode and we ended... Uh, we... what did we do? We uh, yeah, had we searched for the body and for Hannah, who I not really is she Hannah? I don't really know right now. Uh, and wife and Simon and murder and so on. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, she told us something about a, a dollhouse. Uh, so I'm gonna start right away and search for that. Okay, we have five entries exactly, so let's see. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. Me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. It reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. So she was sleeping in the dollhouse? They? Yes. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play out there and make up our own stories. Yeah, it would be okay if it wasn't so creepy. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. <laughs> it must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. Wow. That is a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale. Little furniture. The lights work. Mirrors, beds. Big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing it. We invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all. Passports, diaries, we gave them all really elaborate stories. Once, a moth got trapped in there. We'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. I can't help, but yeah, she's creepy. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Everything Present is fucking in, creepy here. With Simon. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated, modernized wallpaper curtains. Hannah assists the attic we left as it was. Dog. Wait, 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 once again. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Hannah moved back in with Simon. Eric gave Simon... Hannah moved back in. Move. He decorated, modernized wallpaper curtains. Simon. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated, modernized wallpaper curtains. Hannah assists the attic we left as it was. Dollhouse and all. Simon never went up there. Okay, okay, who is Hannah now? You you are Hannah, right? My name is Hannah. H A N N A H. It's Poundre. Yeah, I got so much. The same backwards as so Uh, she's Hannah, but... <clears throat> that one, yeah. But she... complains about Hannah right now? Eve. Eve. So are you Hannah or are you not? 
That's some kind of schizophrenia story here. So is she the same person? That's Eve. Who is Eve again? Well, my friend Eve. And she was a friend from when I was a kid. And she was always more popular with the boys. And I used to hate her for it. I mean, really hate her sometimes. Eve. And you hate her sometimes. Okay. Because she's yes. popular and you weren't. And who are you? We'd fight. We fought on the beach once and I held Eve's head underwater. There was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach. And I held her head under and I kept it out. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. But that was it. It was just a moment. Ah, okay. Well then. We made up afterwards. It was a love-hate relationship. Okay, yeah, what the fuck. A typical best friend stuff, I guess. A police station. Yeah. When I was young. We ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd saved money, pinched to get here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up from the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. So my parents let me off. Okay, blamed everything on Eve. My mother called me Eve. What is going on? Okay, are you Hannah? Are you Hannah? Are you Eve? I don't fucking get anything. Are you? Uh, search for sister. You want me to play something? No, not again. I'm not the world's Okay. What is this? Is that some kind of police trick? Just give him, a, give him a guitar and maybe they'll. Play their confession or what? Same guy. The youngest one. Okay. Eve. Eve had more success with. though slowly drowned great song love it okay is that the the eve episode Dreadful wind and 
is to stop. <laughs> yes, please. Well, well, well. So, uh, I don't have a fucking clue. Are they sisters now? Are they... Is, is she even... Two... Is she a one person? Or? When she went home, Simon had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Simon about me. Told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them. This sister he didn't know she had. She knew that instant. The look on his face. She knew. Stop it. Okay, okay. Brr. Uh, she... When she went home, Simon when had a birthday tea waiting. She went home, so Hannah... She told Simon about me. Because she's Simon's wife? Yes, no? She wanted me to move in with them. This or not? Sister, he didn't know she had. Sister, he didn't know she had. She knew that instant. <clears throat> the look on his face. So... Maybe Hannah or the other other sister did not tell Simon about her sister because her sister was creepy. That it? She sent him out of the house, kicked him out. Kicked him out. Me up crying and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. Okay. She never calls you sister, but you are her sister. Just see the timestamp we have. Eleven fifty eight. Sam had a birthday tea waiting. She sent him out of the house, kicked him out. So that is me up. directly after it, is it? Uh, she sent him out of the house. Yeah, well, kind out. of. Called me up, crying, and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something. Okay, so she moved in, and... Hannah kicked Simon out. My sister is gone. Why? She's never coming back. So did she kill her sister then? Okay, so... The title alone, her story, is kind of speaking for uh, that she is the only one. So she is only one person. Let's presume that. And she has some kind of schizophrenia thing. And sometimes she's Hannah, and then she might be Eve. And another sister. Oh, let's, let's search for twins, maybe. Twins? <laughs> really? Are you I really don't know. That question? Yes. And I'd like to have an answer, please. Maybe. Are you out of your mind? Twins? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. What's so funny about that? I'm sorry. Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Florence. Who is Florence? 
there were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins, magical. We were the princesses. We had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. <clears throat> okay, maybe that is a good... Uh, okay, that's the only one. Not divorced then. Uh, you said the name Florence. Let me see into that. Florence raised me in her home. I never left it. She kept me out of sight. It wasn't odd for people to see a midwife with a baby, carrying in supplies, washing nappies, that sort of thing. I never knew any different. I grew up looking out of my window and seeing her <coughs> across the road. I thought it was like a reflection in the mirror. She was me. Okay, so... So... Are they twins? And they got separated? After they was... They were born? And they were neighbors too? Holy... What the... What is this story? Florence was a warm, kind person. But she was broken, I guess. When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff in it. All the papers, letters, that kind of thing. Her story was in there. Her story? I never really spoke to her about Florence's it. I was far too young to really understand, I guess. I just put it together later, once I was older. She had loved children. Plan to have a large family, but her husband died in the war. And that was back when you married for life. She never felt like she could marry again. Isn't that strange? She was a widow from her twenties. Well, I mean, I guess it was different then. You know, you married for life, and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. One of the dead. I don't, know, I don't know, maybe there was more to it than that. I don't really know. I don't know either. No. It was just me and her. It was the name they were going to call their first child. They talked about it and I'm going to try when it came back. Florence's family had a history of first-born girls, so they were convinced it was going to be a girl. Mm. It's hard to know if this is all true. These are stories I remember, that I read when I was a child. Maybe I misread, maybe I misunderstood. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to remember what happened last week. Okay, she is clearly bonkers. So she read in the diary, that's, yeah, we're gonna search for that. In Florence's diary, and maybe she then started imagining a imaginary friend called Eve? No, he doesn't keep diary. That's my thing. That's your thing, because you... Um, well, as long as I can remember, since I was a girl make sense of my day and when you're forced to put something into words this gives you perspective everyone's on the same page mm 
Hmm? Um, when I was eight, mother died. She slipped down the stairs. It was an accident. I had read a diary at that point and I knew she wasn't my real mother. So I burned the diary that Florence. day and I left. Walked out and across the street. So I wonder, that reflection that always appears, are we playing as her, investigating her own murder case, maybe some kind of... Could be, right? It just became our way of life. We would swap places and take it in turns to do things. And we were very careful. Whoever had been out that day would come back and write a detailed diary so that we were on the same page. We had a list of rules that said what we could and couldn't do in any given situation. It was exhaustive. We lived a second life through those rules. Rules for things that could only ever happen inside our imaginations. And we would consider all the permutations of future events and agree rules to walk our way through them. Not anymore, okay. 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 What is going on here? So she kind of was raised by a woman named Florence. Okay, okay. Maybe she was uh, raised by a woman named Florence that had taken her from her mother uh, or her mother had given her away and she then yeah had some kind of mental illness and read Florence's uh, diary and started imagining things so for example the the girl uh at the other side of the street. Does that make sense? Yes, maybe so far for her, but... Well then, Simon... How did that go? How did they marry? Marry, what was that? Florence was a warm, <coughs> kind person. Okay, Florence again. Okay. Mary. Mary Edge, perhaps. Okay. Um, I Hoover, my dust, every week. Maybe less. I once asked Eleanor how often I should dust, and she said, if people ask, tell them you do it once a week, but every few weeks is okay. I think she was just trying to make me feel better. I mean, when I was there, she was hoovering every day. You know, ran an audit house. You know how that generation is, putting on a brave front. Hmm. She has secret stashes of cigarettes. Doug doesn't even know she smokes. When I was there, I saw her. She has these sort of porcelain vases, ornamental, next to the Reader's Digest books cigarettes inside and she still has them I and mean, last time i was there i looked in a vase there was a fresh pack i mean all those years of marriage and she still has a secret like that uh what was her name maybe less she told me you do it once Uh, Eleanor, okay. Who is that again? So, our sex life is probably fairly average for a couple after ten years of marriage. Ten years of marriage, okay. Simon was very moral about that sort of thing. He wouldn't just walk out there and sleep with anyone. He wasn't that kind of guy. He 
took this marriage very seriously. He took his marriage seriously. After the kiss, the next time, he took me back to the house, to our parents' house, to their house. Their so house? It was definitely him. I sometimes think he wanted to get caught to prove to himself that we were different people. He told me about his marriage, told me how his wife was completely different to me. <laughs> I almost burst out laughing. Yeah, I realized. Thank you. Okay, well, let's just search for her. Yeah, I've been mad to Dagen Eleanor's and they're very worried. I feel sorry for them. Doug and Eleanor. Okay. I parked up in the street. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. Walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack. I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen because he usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. But he wasn't there. I touched the kettle. It was cold. I looked quickly in the living room. Nothing. So I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. I had a shower. The phone rang whilst I was in the shower. I didn't answer it. I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. This time I spoke to him. Then I called Doug and Eleanor. And then I decided to come and see you. Done so, that had been the night when he disappeared. Well, she got home, he wasn't there. And then she went to the police. Yeah. 1984. It was an awful year in the end. We were living at Doug and Eleanor's. I lost the baby at the end of spring and my parents died in the summer. It was a hot summer, a heat wave. So when they discovered the bodies, it was just awful. Because of the circumstances, them dying together like that, they brought in a lot of police. A forensic entomologist. I had to look that up. It was because of the heat. Well, well, well. So, bu -bu -bu -bum. Doug and Eleanor's maybe. Doug and Eleanor are Simon's parents, maybe? Yes. I speak with Eleanor at least once a day. Not that there's anything much to say. It's more just. Got an achievement for that, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so mm, maybe we'll find something when we search about Eric. He was wearing um, a shirt, it's a blue turtleneck shirt and jeans. He has a watch, it's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss. Eric. Mm, he had a so coat. that's when he disappeared. Okay. A long grey duffel coat, black pants and bear. Uh, he would have taken that with him. It's not in the house. 
coat is missing. So, it was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. He had a job. He didn't show. Okay, so Eric, Eric called. Okay. I checked at the rock. That's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning. He isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. So I decided to come see you. His parents haven't heard anything either. Yes, there's a car that we share of Cavalier and a van he uses for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both of them are there now, parked on the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. Yes, a van, me. It's a visa, a silver one. He doesn't like to spend money he doesn't have, so he usually pays with cash, but Eric convinced him to get one. Girl, let's see, maybe the van turns something up. No, it doesn't. Yeah, see, uh, right now I'm kind of helpless. I don't really know what is going on at all. I mean, at all. I, I have no fucking idea. She may be schizophrenic. Okay, you got that. She then married Simon. Uh, they moved in with his parents, Eleanor and Doug. Let's search for parents. If we can confirm that real quick. You got parents. Both our parents had a big powwow. We weren't <clears throat> even in the room. And they decided we should get married. Pregnant. That's okay. She, yeah, she lost the baby. She said that. We carried on living at Simon's parents until well, it was only a few months after. Then my parents died. It was the worst year of my life. A miscarriage and then my parents. That is awful. Okay. Okay. So. Let's see if she uses that word. Do I spell that correctly? wedding, people said. Simon looked very handsome in the photos. His parents paid for everything, but he's an only child, so it was important to them. Were you married at 17? It was what they called a shotgun wedding. But if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. It looked like Princess Diana's. <laughs> the train wasn't quite as long, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. They married at 17. She got pregnant. It lasted about six months. I tried to carry on, but everything was different. Hannah insisted I not pretend to be her around Simon, let alone sleep with him. Not to Didn't pretend what? Girls. The rules had changed. 
me living in the attic had become weird in a way it hadn't been before. So, are they twins now and switching places? Wait, 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 wait. Hannah insisted I not pretend to be her around Simon. Not... Let sleep with him. He didn't share him like the others. No, okay. So, they're twins and she <clears throat> likes to pretend... To be her sister, to be together with Simon? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I... <clears throat> Let's put that back. I wanted to search pregnant. So yes. give me that, please. Oh, I'm sick again. This happened some days. I'm pregnant. It's morning sickness. So you just now are pregnant? But that still is after he disappeared and after he had a uh, she had that miscarriage. Well, yes. He found out on my birthday. I told him I was pregnant. So she had a miscarriage once. Maybe. Then she got pregnant again sometime later. And obviously, sometime short before he disappeared. It's Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower. Rapunzel gets pregnant by the prince. And Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, her hair's already short here, so that's already happened. So she throws her into the wilderness, and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince, who's blind. But she kills him with her tears, and so it's a happy ending. Is that too much? No, oh, quite okay. Cool story. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly, and I hit a taxi. Okay, what's with... Not a big crash, just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. All right. Oh my god, so much stuff to look into. This Even if I have the feeling that I kind of suck at being a detective, this is super cool and super fun. Uh so let's search for what are we going to search for now? Did I Okay, I see one. Sleep with Simon and yeah, uh, let's see if she had an affair with Simon then. An affair? Yeah. Simon wasn't having an affair. Guess that's a no. All right. Glad, very glad. Maybe uh, sleep with Simon. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous, didn't want to share. Even the first date, we went to see Tom Cruise at the old Odeon. We both went, kept changing places in the toilet. Okay. We only had one best dress, so we had to keep swapping clothes. <laughs> Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. 
Okay, so they... Um, at the end, I let him kiss me. But that was it. We didn't want another Carl in our hands, and the Ouija board had said... Oh, it was Carl now. Ouija After board. That, it was Great Hans idea. Island. She slept with him. Broke the rules. Deliberately broke the rules. She wanted to be the first to sleep with him. <laughs> I mean... That's when she got pregnant. From that one time. So that's when she got pregnant. Okay. They swap places at the first date. And then the next dates they they yeah, took turns. And so Hannah slept with Simon, got pregnant, and they married because she was getting a baby. Okay. And <clears throat> the little sister over here, she, um, yeah, was of course jealous and uh, hurt because Hannah broke the rules and she was left behind then. But there was some, some video before, uh, she said something about... Yeah, wait. Let me see if I can find it. Oh my god. Um, <coughs> Mary Florence divorce. In sister, sister. This one? Uh, when she went home. Simon had a birthday yeah, yeah, that one. Afterwards, she told Simon about me. Told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them. This sister he didn't know she had. She knew that instant. She knew that instant. That she had an affair with... Okay, so somehow little sister over here had an affair with Simon and got pre pregnant then as well. Is that so? But if they are sisters and twins and they can swap places so easy, how did he not... Okay, yeah, yeah. Practically, he didn't have an affair because he thought he was sleeping with his wife when it was actually a sister uh, taking Hannah's place to be with Simon. And then uh, Hannah's some Hannah. Finally introduced her to Simon. And then he knew, because they're twins, obviously. But she... Don't know if he knew that she was pregnant as well. But then, yeah, he might... Must have assumed that he slept with her already. Kind of, don't know. And the child, I don't know if that is was or, or already visible, or if she, he knew that the child must be his. Okay. Wow. This this whole detective thing is really super cool. How old looks here and just typing in and watching your your uh, interrogations that is really super awesome i like it so much even though super simplistic this is one of the most atmospheric games i've ever played you gotta say that you gotta admit that but for this episode i think we'll be done uh, i think we may 
some progress up to this point. I think we can be uh, satisfied with that. Um, though I'm really not sure if they're sisters or if they're the same person now and she's just hallucinating. I don't know. But that seems the whole yeah, cheating on her sister with Simon breaking the rules that, that seems kind of that seems like a lead and her story she mentioned her story uh, in an interview I don't know if I interpret too much into that but when she was talking about Eleanor and her diary she was talking about her story maybe that's a lead as well I don't know we'll see we'll find out I hope for now we'll end it here I hope you enjoyed watching if you did then please subscribe and stick around for more and I'll be super happy to see you in the next video so peace out for now oh yeah trash can that is not decoration that is useful have the streets clean.